Well, last night we brought you the story of a young asylum seeker whose dreams of becoming a doctor seemed out of reach. Since the story aired, Shalmi Gopalakrishnan's tears have turned to joy. She's being inundated with offers of support, including her choice of rare university scholarships. It was all smiles at Brisbane Airport this morning as Shalmi Gopalakrishnan prepared to move to Melbourne with her family. I just want to say thank you so much um, to the people out there who cares about you know, um, issues like this and who would love to help me out. Just a day ago, the high school graduate, ducks of her Catholic college and school captain, had little hope she'd ever attend university. Her asylum seeker status meant she'd have to pay full tuition fees up front. But since sharing her story with the ABC, the 19-year-old has been overwhelmed with offers of help and university scholarships. It means um, I can pursue my dream of becoming a doctor and also like, um, it will enable me to contribute to the Australian community. She says there are many others like her and hopes they'll be given the same opportunity. It doesn't matter if you're a refugee or asylum seekers or even an Australian citizen. If you want to pursue um, further education, you should be able to. For the last year, Xiaomi and her family have been living at Dr Kate Sinclair's home. It's the most rewarding thing you could possibly do to be part of another family's life and help them on their way. And to be honest with you, it's been a completely two-way street. The Go Palakrishnans are Tamils from Sri Lanka who were on a boat to Christmas Island four years ago. Their application for a safe haven visa has been rejected and the case is now before the courts. Among the offers of assistance is one from an immigration lawyer. This has all happened within the last 24 hours. It's just amazing. Xiaomi will spend her first few days in Melbourne deciding which scholarship she'll accept. Daya Clark, ABC News.